Now, we're catching up with a pair of farmers who had 49 cows stolen from their Dartmouth farm. We first told you about this cattle theft last night on Eyewitness News at 10 and 11. Tonight, the owners tell us how they reacted when they realized their livestock had been lifted. That's right. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson is in our newsroom with all the new details. Dozens of cows valued at about $50,000 stolen from a Dartmouth farm over the weekend have been found all the way in Pennsylvania. Hear from the owners as they describe the wild cattle chase. Where's the beef? That's the question the owners of this communal farm on Old Fall River Road had on Saturday night when they discovered that 49 of their cows were missing. I went pale like a ghost. I went to the farm and it was completely empty. There was nothing there. Nothing at all. Nothing except my two little sheep four goats, and that's it. Turns out someone stole the cattle and took them to an auction house in central Pennsylvania. Somebody trying to make extra money or thinking maybe that we were fools or something like that, that we would never try to get our cows back. At the auction house, they found most of the cows, but 11 are still missing. The owners would still like to use the recovered cows for their original purpose, a gift to New England area Muslim communities for an upcoming holiday. But injuries suffered during the ordeal could put that in jeopardy. They had to be roughed up because if you look at the cattle right now, eyes are all smashed and, you know, beat up. The owners say they heard one arrest has been made in the case. While they're hoping for justice, they believe the health of the cows is the most important thing. Adamson reporting. Now, we just got an update from co-owner Paul Tavares. He tells us that the herd is not being cleared to return to the state of Massachusetts over fears that some of the cows actually may be sick. He says he may be forced to sell the cattle to slaughter, but he doesn't want to. He had volunteers have the animals quarantined and observed by other veterinarians for up to 90 days.